Good morning, Wordsmiths. It's three days before NaNoWriMo and my exams are officially over since yesterday. I slept the whole day yesterday. I was just exhausted, but now I have to deal with this wonderful mess here because I have done nothing for a couple of days and my little brother is home from university and that means there's gonna be extra mess so I have to make this room very presentable so when he messes that messes it up it will still look half decent so that's what I'm gonna do now then I think I'm gonna plan out what I'm going to do with Nano and what I want to write for each day because the plan is that I will finish the second draft by the end of July I have printed out my outline and I am going to see what I will be writing each day and I will try to stick to it I will give me some room to wiggle and adjust but I will try to stick to it for the most part and I will see where this gets me you have to admit there is a significant difference here in the room also Cut! Maria? Maria? Eh? Oh yes, scratches What are you doing fat kitty? I think the heat is affecting her a bit too much so now it's time to outline no outline i have the outline plan what i'm going to write for nano and what i'm going to do with my life basically the next month so apparently i have too many scenes for the 30 days 31 days that is july so i have to write two scenes per day the original plan was that i would write one scene per day but if i do that not gonna be done by the end of July and that's not really what I'm going for so I will have to write two scenes per day but if I write two scenes per day I will be done 10 days before the end of camp so that really works because it means that I can if one day I'm not writing or I have want to do something else or I skip for whatever reason I still have a chance to catch up and I have extra days that I can fill the gap so that is good still though I was expecting less scenes I didn't really think I would have so many but it's like 49 scenes that I need to write 49 scenes and okay yes it's editing so I have to rewrite them there right there but some of them because I've made some changes some of them have to be re rewritten completely and I'm like uh, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. I think, I believe I can finish by the end of July and then I can work on my short stories and then hopefully I can get the, uh, my hand on the novel by October again because I have exams from September so I can't deal with writing when I have exams and that means that I have August to work on short stories then October to get on the novel then I think November, when, when it's camp again, I think I will work on something new, just for the fun of it. And then December, I can do novel again. <sighs> we will see. It's uh, a lot of choices, but this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want to do. I want to be writing, so I'm really excited about it because it seems like I have a lot of stories to tell and I have... Uh, if I have a plan for them, I can really get to fixing them, fixing them, to writing them and editing them and getting them out there and that's what I really want to. I haven't decided yet between self-publishing and traditional publishing. I would like to try the traditional route a little bit, but self-publishing has something very appealing to it in the sense that you have much more control over everything. And I can get my brother who is in art school to design the covers for me, maybe. I can blackmail him for sure. And hopefully, I don't know, I think it will work out in the end, but I want to see. I, want, I, like, I would like to try traditional first and see if I can do it. Not if I can do it. I've read many things online that say that 
it's very difficult to, to get published traditionally not because your writing is bad or your story is bad it's because publishers look for specific things and if you don't have those things then they won't publish you and then they won't publish you and <laughs> that's not what I'm going here for but self-publishing on the other hand has many people that do not do the work as they should when they need to publish they just finish the book and they put it out there without editing, without getting an editor, without getting better readers, without just fixing the story. A first draft is such a mess, uh, things happen and you need to edit. You need to, uh, that's the bottom line, you need to edit if you want to create something that is good and you can be proud of and most people that are not most people, that's like such a generalization. A lot of people that self-publish do not edit. And that is a major complaint in the self-publishing community that a lot of people will not edit, but they will put the work out there and that creates sort of a bad name for self-publishers. But I don't know, I would like to try, I would like to try both, to be honest. I would like to try both traditional and both self-publishing and see which works better for me. But right now both need excessive research because I don't know how to do either of them. I'm just still in the phase that, okay, I have my first draft. Okay, now I'm working on my second draft. Like, I'm not there yet that I have started looking into publishing. Hopefully in the next year. I would like that. I would really, that would be awesome. Like, if it was somewhere in the next year, that would be ideal. One can hope. Also, Da, 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 da. No, that, that, that Game of Thrones finale was awesome. Uh, now I have to wait for a whole year for the next season. That, that's that's cruel and that's unfair in so many levels. It got really dark all of a sudden for some reason, so I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. Uh, I was thinking that I, uh, when it comes to writing, that I usually I can write. 5k per day if it's a good day like if I've been writing for a while if I'm into the story if there is momentum I can easily go to 5k but I wrote like a scene last week and I haven't written since April a bit of May maybe so I think it would be reasonable to cut that in half and say two and a half k would be will be my ideal work count but still, I think if I write every day and if I get my writing muscles going again, I, I will be able to reach that 5k and that will be ideal. Kitty? Kitty, what are you doing there? Do you want to be in the vlog again? Aren't you pretty? My cat likes to... My cat likes to vlog whenever she's in the camera, so she will be all still. And looking perfect when she five minutes ago she could be going crazy and flipping but the moment she sees a camera or a cell phone she stops and she's still and she's acting like she's a queen or something maria and she's terribly afraid of the vacuum cleaner which is what i have going on so she's being a good girl right now anyway i tried harassing Thorne a bit on Facebook and on the chat to get her to wake up but it didn't work so now I have to wait for her to wake up so because I have an idea about my story and I want to talk to her about it and then we might do a couple of sprints to warm up because nano is in three days and I need to warm up I can just start writing and be good I need to prepare so I will get her to ride with me. So that's it. That's all for today. I, I will see you again very soon, actually, because we we are changing up our schedule for Nano. And until then, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you. Like, subscribe, and all that.